How's it going? This is Miss Jones, your instructor here at Barton Chapel Elementary School in music. What I'm doing today is I'm doing the tutorial for my original arrangement, the xylophone part of my original arrangement for the song, Do You Hear What I Hear? Actually, one of my favorite, well, it is, it is my favorite Christmas song um, during the Christmas season. Basically, it's not that hard. It's really just long, and I'm only going to have two xylophones playing it because we only got two xylophones here that get up to the complete range of the song. But basically, right here, here's your sheet music. I know it's not num it's not lettered and everything like little drummer boy is, but for my two xylophones that'll be playing this, I will do this for you all today so that you will have that when you practice it because it's got to be good, it's got to be right. So what I'm going to do right now is I'm going to pretty much like play um, this song for you at the tip it's supposed to be played at, which I do believe I played it at 98. Let me get my metronome set. 98 beats per minute. Metronome on. Metronome's on, all right. One, two, one, two, ready, go. That's pretty much the whole song right there. Now, to pretty much go, I know it's a lot, but for like now, let's look at the sheet music, okay? The thing we got to talk about the sheet music is since we're using the whole range of the xylophone, you're going to notice that there's, um, for instance, on this music, it's going to be, I'm going to have C's written like three times. For instance, like here's the first um, C sharp right here. Then you got, let me see. 
Let me see, where am I in the music? I know it's another C. I know it's another C sharp here somewhere. Yep, here it is. Then you got another one right here. The difference is this sheet, the, like the one that's written like here, the one that's um lower than this one right here, that will refer to this C sharp right here. The one that's written up higher, that refer to this one right here. See what I'm saying? Same note, just higher pitched. All right, the same thing's gonna pretty much go for the A too. Like here, you got this A right here, the lower A. And then if you keep playing the song, we definitely got a bunch of higher A's right here. And pretty much the lower A is going to be this one right here. The higher one. Hear the difference. Same note, higher pitch, okay? We've been going over this in class. We just have to re recognize how it um, reads on music. Because on music, as you can see, the lower, the lower pitches, they're written lower on the staff. Whereas the higher ones, they're higher. So... You're going to have a bunch of those because you're going to have the same thing with the B right here. This B right here. Here's the lower one. And then further along on the music, we definitely got A when we when we do the octave change. Yep, here's one of the higher Bs right here. The higher B. So when we do the lower B, it's the higher one up here. Trying to see which other notes it does that with. Oh yeah, and the I know the other note does that with is gonna do that with the D and the E. So particularly with the D right here, here's a low, here's the low D. And then when you come further down, let me see. Well, it won't do it with the D, it's gonna definitely do it with the E. Because here's the high E right here. And then somewhere around here, we have a, ah, here's a lower E right here. So, yep, same concept. Here's the low E on, on the music and the high E. When I say the low E, it's high E, the very last one, the very last note on this thing. But like, like I said, it's not, it's not that hard, but. It's going it's gonna quite require you to do a little thing, and I will be working with you, okay? And I'm gonna definitely have all the notes written down on this for you guys before I give it to you, all right? If now basically the rhythms are pretty much self-explanatory. We like if you pay attention to little drummer boy, it's nothing but half dotted half notes. A dotted half note um gets three beats. We went over that. Of course, you got your eighth notes. Now, now here, based now here, we got something called sixteenth notes and a dotted um, eighth note. The dotted eighth note gets three fourths of the beat, while sixteenth note gets a gets a fourth of a beat. It would be like when you playing it. And I pretty much and I pretty much played the rhythms throughout the way you need to play it. So. It's not that difficult, okay? If you got any additional questions, you know how to get in touch with me. And like I said, we're going to knock this out for the Christmas concert. Thank you. Have a good day.